We took a direct hit there, but fortunately didn't do too much to us. Oh, shit! The Undead Legacy, I'm an old guy gaming, and it is day 70. Horde Night is going to start here in a couple hours. Um, so I am pretty much ready to go for that. I got 177 pipe bombs. Uh, we got a couple atom junkies, a little bit of molotovs. Uh, our weapons are in pretty good shape. I got five, 631 rounds of 7.62s. We got some sniper rounds, some shotgun rounds. And uh, I have my nerdy glasses on, so we got that going for us. Let's see. Um, I spent, I've spent most of the day today just gathering resources. So I, I gathered a bunch of wood. Gathered a bunch of corn, a bunch of potatoes, and uh, we now have in here um, a lots of planks. So we have um, over a thousand planks. And let's put those over here. Ooh, that makes us heavy. We'll put those over there. Um, that was one of the things that we needed for the drawbridge. So we got uh, lots of planks now. Uh, sort by type. There we go. I'm just putting the extra shavings in here just use those to burn plus the, the firewood um now that we got those uh because rather we got those corn uh, all that corn and potatoes and i got a bunch of corn there's just tons of farming fields around uh so i got 103 ears of corn and 51 potatoes that means uh we can make some of the higher end food now so let's see what we can do in that regard we can make meat stew we can make blueberry pie that's good. Um, so we still can't make that stuff because we're missing canned food. Uh, okay, so I guess it's uh, mostly the meat stew and the blueberry pie that we can currently make. Um, which is good. I mean, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, nothing wrong with that stuff for sure. What does this cost? This doesn't take any potatoes or corn. Take some blueberries. Yeah, you know what? Let's make um, let's make three of those, and let's actually take some of this corn. I don't know. Yeah, let's take twenty-five of those and make some more cornmeal. And then, what about hobo stew? What's what was the holdup on that? Hobo stew. All oh, right, because the corn, uh, that's right, I forgot that this can't broadcast, so, hey, wait. What happened to all of our corn? Oh, <laughs> it pulled it out, that's what happened. All right, no, we only want to make, I wanted to make 25, so we want to make 21 of these. There we go, okay. Now we should also be able to make hobo stew. Uh, is that chest not broadcasting? We should have a crap ton of that stuff in here. It is broadcasting. Why isn't it picking it up? Now it is. That was weird. Okay, um, this is going to be better than this. At least it is in vanilla. Uh, so yeah, see, that gives us 64 food and whatever other bonuses. This only gives us 50 food. So, yeah, let's, um, make 25 yowzers. That's going to burn up all of our potatoes. Why don't we make 10 of these? All right, and we're going to need about nine minutes of fuel. Good. So we got three uh, three blueberry pies. We'll have a total of 11 hobo stews, and we still have plenty of corn potatoes left over uh, for meat stew if we decide to do that um, or whatever else we might want to do. And then this is making the cornmeal, which we can then... Uh, could we make fish tacos? I think... Do I have a can of salmon in here? I don't. Okay, so we won't be able to make fish tacos. We haven't learned the corn dogs yet. I'm just thinking of the things that require the, you know, the uh, corn meal. There is corn bread, but I think we'll hold off on that. If we could make the pumpkin cheesecake, this would give us 
um, a 5% discount when bartering, which we need to do when we go sell our stuff. And I have grain alcohol in here. It's, um, wait. Do I? Oh, I must have used all my grain alcohol on making something. Because this is where I would keep it. Okay, well, we can make more of that. Um, which we actually need cornmeal for, so good enough. Okay, it's almost as if I'd planned it that way, right? Okay, so that'll get us going on, uh, keep us in pretty good shape for food for a while. Put all of this back in here. I'm just going to say, why am I so doggone heavy? All right, which one of these is better? This gives 45 food and 22 health. Yeah, this is better in every way. Um, so let's put this in here for now. And we'll just let that finish cooking up. Okay, we, we better get over uh, to the horde base. It, it is time. So let's head on over there. And uh, this is pretty much just going to be the same... Uh, you know, the same thing as, as the last time we did the horde night. There is a... A drop down there from my nightly zombie kills but you know what I don't think I'm gonna worry about that right now let's just get into position here so yeah we're just gonna fight them on the ramp like we did last time one uh, and I did I did fix up all of the pillars and and you know reinforce the building and all that one thing I was thinking about doing though is maybe putting some electric fences across here for the next horde night um you know just to give ourselves a little extra something something and we can also jump over there and take those guys out but hoping uh, we'll be fine tonight uh you know as long as the building holds up it should but you never know our little uh water plan over here never really worked out so well but oh well it was worth a try i guess uh so one thing uh, we are gonna have to be careful of you know cop spit and vultures because we don't really have any shelter to speak of you know I, we could run back into there i suppose if we had to uh, but you know we'll just keep an eye out for that and um, we got healing kits or health kits and stuff on us and i think we should be okay as long as we are just careful and you know we still have our two fallback locations if things really go south on us and so yeah i'm feeling pretty good about how things will go down all right guys well i'm gonna cut the camera here and wait till the horde night actually starts i'll bring you guys back at that point and we will try this out and see how things go tonight so i'll see you in just a little bit here horde night 70 is upon us let's see how we do tonight uh so we'll wait for the zekers to <clears throat> start amassing before we start throwing bombs at them and uh i think i'm gonna move these two over so all of my explosive items are together and yeah, we just have to kind of keep uh, cops under control in particular for spit, or at least, you know, dodge those. Uh, did I just hear a cop? Yeah, one from around there. There's one there, okay. Kablooey. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, take an Adam Junkies. And start lighting these guys up. Yeah, we got 5,000 XP out of that deal. They're all kind of just hanging out right there at the moment, which is good for us. We already got a drop down there. Hey, get off there. away from there yeah we have to kind of mine those um, pillars stay away from the pillars this actually is a reasonable um, explosive setup considering it's purely POI based there's no nothing I did to design it because, you know, you, a POI or an explosive-based horde base, obviously you want everybody to cluster up so you get the most bang bang for your buck. Okay. 
We might have to hop over to the other side here. Whoa! Little lag almost made me fall off the thingy there. Not good. Okay, let's go over to this side. Yeah, see a bunch of them were right underneath us there. And we'll hang out over here for just a little bit. Get away from the post. I don't have, you know, unlimited ammo. I've got a decent amount, but I want to kind of be a little bit careful with it. Oh, shit. Oh, throw it! <laughs> I was busy dodging that cop. That could have been bad. Man, the lag's going to get me killed, if, if anything. Because sometimes right when I get to the edge of the thing here, I lag out a bit and then lose a couple frames. And next thing you know, I've taken two more steps forward that I didn't mean to take. Okay, let's go back over to this side. I have to go around here. Oh, lots of cops. My word. Okay. Let's light these guys up. I should probably make a, a little bit more use of the Molotovs. They are useful, man. This is still not, like, super concentrated XP, though. It's more uh, just doing what we need to do to survive for now until we can really build something awesome. But it gets the job done. Get away from that pillar. Uh, you know what I didn't do? Darn it. I didn't bring any concrete with me. Because we could probably reach that. Miss me. Oh, we got a couple skill points. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, go away, lag. Okay, let's flip over to this side. Get away from the pillar. Yeah, they've already broken that pillar. Well, at least we, we can see it's not critical to holding up the building, so... Got a double on that one. Okay, let's flip over to the other side again. We're just kind of going back and forth here. Okay, we got a, a vulture. Doesn't look like it's down in this area, so... Look at that, 92,000 XP. It's crazy. Well, aside from the lag fest, this is working out pretty good. Oh, we got bumped a little bit on that explosion. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I lagged it so much that I didn't even see the pipe bomb go. Okay, that buzzard's making me nervous. I'm not... It's probably just up on the roof and too dumb to figure out how to get down here. Let's hope so, anyway. And we took a direct hit there, but fortunately didn't do too much to us. Oh, shit! I knew that was going to happen! Damn it, Jim! Whew. 
My goodness. Are you dead? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was totally due to lag, man. Totally. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> wow. We got this. Oh my goodness. Hundred and seven thousand three hundred sixty XP. I've got the XP set to to stay on for um whatever the max setting is. I think it's like thirty seconds or something like that. All right, let's go over here. Oh man, that lag. Now, let's run back over here. What I want to do is... Well, yeah, that's not... Okay, there's a buzzard up here. All right, he did. Oh, that was, a, that was a tree. Okay. I'm going, they're knocking shit down? Oh, no. Oh wow, they were all the way over there. I should maybe put, I don't know, like some quarter blocks or something up here just uh, to, <laughs> to prevent me from falling in here. Worst part about those buzzers is they're just annoying as all get out. over this way. They're doing a number on the blocks down there, that's for sure. Here, let's go um let's go back over here. Nice. Got a nice little cluster of them there. Let's deal with these buzzards. They're driving me nuts. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Oh, I guess it's just them. Okay. All right, let's head back down. Yeah, we definitely need to make more Molotovs. Um, the reason I don't actually really haven't made them up until now is because of, you know gasoline but gasoline's no longer an issue for us and the buzzard all right let's take a uh, small bandage here and light these guys up see what's going on on the other side now I should probably do something about making this little passage a little safer for us too look at all the zombies burning down there that's awesome okay let's take another atom junkies and let's take a hobo stew also okay back to blowing them up
All right, it is morning. I ran out of explosives, um, I don't know, a little after three. So we're just finishing the evening off with our shotgun here. And because I have the choke uh, on this, it has re reasonably good range. So we'll finish these guys off. We got a bunch of loot bags down there, so we'll pop an eye candy, put our luckies back on, and um, see what kind of loot we get after we finish these dudes off. You know what I might do is, why don't we fight these guys over at our our other base? Come on, guys, over here. We'll just pull them up our ladder here and take them out that way. Are they coming? Yeah, some of them are. I don't know if we, we'll pull them all over here, but... Okay. Works pretty good, really. They come up the ladder and we just take them out. I'm tempted to to try this for Horde Night. I, I, we need to do a little more upgrading first, but. I mean, it's just a slaughter fest. And the, you know, the sledge take, you know, hits on the dudes that are at the door. Or dudettes, as the case may be. Or ball sacks, as the case may be. Is that everybody? I think so. All right. Horde Knight 70 is in the bag. And we're still alive. That's the important thing. <laughs> oh, dude, you are so disgusting. Get the hell out of here. All right. What we're going to do is head on down and uh, pop an eye candy and see what kind of loots we get. Sounds like we might still have a few stragglers. Anybody else? All right, let's bandage up here. Oh, we got Fido. How did he get up there? I don't know. All righty. So what we're going to do is put our luckies back on. We are going to pop our eye candy. And uh, let's put a couple of these things back on the toolbar just so we have a little more room in our inventory. That's good enough. Okay, let's see what we get. All right, decent stuff, decent stuff. And that's it for up here. There's that one uh, on the, whoops, uh, that's on the ground that's been there since yesterday. We might as well go check it. All right, soup stock. Nice. We need that for uh, gumbo or one of those. And we'll s survey the damage on the building here, too. Yeah, they definitely tore some blocks up, didn't they? All right. Nice. Um, 
I'm gonna learn that. We might put that to use. We might put that to use. That's a really nice iron axe. As nice as it gets for iron axes. Hazmat gloves. Okay. All right. Yeah, they <laughs> they really worked this place over, didn't they? All right, let's jump down here. Hazmat boots. Knives and swords. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we're gonna have to take a close look at that. That might be the find of the night. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so um, the building is... We, we had a little bit of SI instability thing going on there. So what I'm thinking is, uh, oh, baby. Wow. I'll take it. Very nice. Okay. Um, what I'm thinking is we upgrade these pillars to steel because I really like to pound on those pillars. Um, and then, you know, patch in, I guess, patch that stuff in. Uh, that is assuming I'm going to use this for the next horde night, though. I haven't decided that yet. I am. It is my intention to build. We're going to construct an actual horde base um, at some point in this series. Uh, one that's going to, you know, get us a crap ton of XP. But it, you know, if I don't get to that for horde 77, then you know this this is still a viable option for us. We just need to do some fixing up and some reinforcing there. But overall, that went pretty good. I mean, we got two skill points. I already had a had one that I hadn't spent, but we got two more, so we have a total of three, which we're gonna we're gonna look at. And uh, so overall, not a bad horde night, guys. Not a bad horde night at all. And you know this this little setup has a lot of potential here too. Uh, what what I think we need to do is upgrade these ladders to steel, and upgrade this whole um, melee area to steel and then you know uh, so we so we got that this is already upgraded to steel but I mean you saw how that was working I, I can just sit up here and just blast them right in the head and uh, it works so well yeah uh, we just you know we just need to make sure that this thing can can withstand the horde uh, and I think it probably can. I'm probably going to do something about blocking that in, too, because if this ever got destroyed, then that would actually give them a way to get up here. Uh, but I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm liking that idea of possibly using this. Uh, and it's already our fallback location anyway, but I'm the, I mean, I'm thinking maybe using it as the actual horde base. But not until, like I said, we... Uh, we reinforce it some more. Let's go ahead and grab some more potatoes since these are ready. All right. That one went pretty well. We used all of our pipe bombs. I had 177. I think for the next time, we should probably be thinking about maybe 200 and also have a nice little supply of Molotovs with us the next time around, too. Um, Let's have ourselves a blueberry pie. I think we earned that. I think we earned that. Indeed. All right. We'll put all that stuff in there. Um, oh yeah, let's look at the let's look at the FAR and these are the, these are the two prizes of the night. My goodness. Okay, so um, we already know this crossbow is going to do quite a bit more damage. Uh, well, actually, hold on. This does this has a base damage of ninety two six. This is has a base damage of ninety seven five. I take that back. The crossbow has quite a bit more velocity though, and more range but a little less damage. That's very interesting. Okay. Most of the time, crossbows do a little more damage than bows, but in this particular case, that is not the situation. That doesn't mean we won't use it. Um, what do I have for crossbow bolts that we've just 
Yeah, I just have iron crossbow bolts. I can't make steel stuff yet because I haven't found the book. Yeah, I'll have to think. I'll have to consider that. I'll have to consider that. But anyway, let's let's look at this guy. Uh, so we're gonna compare our current assault rifle. Um, I know I don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, so it makes it easier. Okay, so this has almost ten more points of damage. A little bit less than the magazine. And one meter less range, which doesn't matter for this rifle. A little tiny bit faster fire rate, a little more durability. Yeah, this this is an upgrade, guys. This is an upgrade. Um, unfortunately, it fires 5.56s, though, which is not ideal, just because 7.62s are a lot more abundant. But that's not a huge deal, because, you know, we can make those. So I think this is going to become our new assault rifle. And it does it have another mod slot, too, on it? It's got, yeah, it does. It's got four mod slots, so that's another huge plus. Uh, so we're going to put all of the stuff on there that we had on the other weapon, and then we have room for even another mod slot. What else do I have? Most of that stuff's in here. Uh, okay, so we got a crippler. We got a bipod. Uh, we got burst triggers, but I don't think I would put burst triggers on there. What does this do again? It increases action and handling when aiming weapons. That's more of a sniper thing than anything else. Um, I'm thinking the crippler is probably going to be good because that's going to help us take legs off. I don't want to put a scope on it. Besides, that scope uh, isn't going to work anyway. So I guess the crippler is really our option. Uh our only option other than the bipod if we did can we even put a bipod on this let's just check maybe we can't ah we can okay um but we've got the retracting stock which is for shooting from the hip uh, which we're going to do a lot with this weapon so i'm thinking the crippler i'm thinking the crippler because anything long range we're going to be using the ranger rifle for anyway there okay so now we have we're going to have to go back to 556s five, and I'm just going to have to make a bunch um, because they're just not abundant in the world in terms of finding them. So let's put all these 7.62s back and I'm going to just make up a bunch of 5.56s. All right. Fantastic. I love it. All right. Let's look at our points here. So we have three points to spend what are we working on? Um, strength is getting up there. We already have a level 4 in machine gunner, level 4 in skull crusher. I wouldn't mind putting some more points into 69er and even mother load. Um, but we were kind of working on perception though too. Deadeye would, would be nice to have because we are we're doing quite a bit of sniping. Uh, Lucky looter would be a good one to put some points into. So why don't we do this? This is already to three, so let's put a point into Deadeye. Let's put a point into... Oh, what is this required? Perception four. All right, let's put a point into Lucky. Let's put two points into Lucky. Yeah, let's put two points into Lucky, and we'll keep working on Penetrator and, and Archery. Um... No, we already got max points in there, those until we raise perception itself. So, we'll, yeah, we'll work on Penetrator um, and get, yeah, we'll have, we'll have to get Perception to 4 to get, get that up. And then, yeah, I think we'll keep focusing on Perception because I'm doing a lot of sniping now. The Penetrator, you just can't beat that. That is such a good uh, perk in this game. And then, you know, getting Archery up a little higher is not a bad thing. And, of course, getting Lucky Looter up a little higher is not a bad thing. So I think that takes care of our points. All right, guys. Well, um, so the plan for the next episode is going to be five, five, six rounds. Bullet tips. I made a whole bunch of bullet tips. Let's grab those out of here and put them in here. And let's just whoop up a batch of, like, say, 500, 556 five, rounds. We should have plenty of resources to do that. We could make 1,000 if we wanted to, but let's not make 1,000. Let's make 500. Um, actually, we have 100. Let's make 400. So we have roughly a stack. Beautiful. Okay, so the plan for the next episode is 
with the resources that we currently have, um, and specifically or mostly we're talking iron plating and steel plating, we're going to fix up uh, tools and weapons. I mean, I've got so much crap in here. It's just a ridiculous amount of weapons and crap and stuff to sell. Um, and we are going to have a heyday with the traders. And we're going to sell a bunch of stuff to the traders. We already have 23 grand, but uh, we're pro we could very well double that money by the time it's all said and done. Uh, we'll try and make ourselves a pumpkin pie or cheesecake. I don't have, I have the knowledge or the skill to make awesome sauce, but I don't have a yucca juice smoothie skill. I don't think. Do I? No. I don't have yucca juice smoothie skill and I don't have tin uh, mushrooms. So unfortunately for this big sale, we're not going to be able to do grandpa's awesome sauce unless by some... Uh, stroke of miracle, you know, we come across that stuff before we do that, but I don't think we will. But you know what? I'm not too worried about it. We will be able to do eye candy. We'll be able to do pumpkin pie. We already have the cigar, which gives gives us a 10% bonus, and yeah, we'll just make ourselves a crap ton of money because, you know, it's fun to do that. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure it out. Um, we still have upgrading to do. So we'll probably get back to focusing on quests, maybe do some random looting sessions too. And I do want to hit the Deshong Tower uh, as well. And um, so, yeah, those are some of the things coming up. I'm going to get to the, I'm going to decide if I'm going to use the parking garage again or if we're going to actually risk it and try this out. And if we try this out, then I'm going to have to seriously reinforce it, you know, to get it ready to go, which basically means upgrade everything to steel. And, um, yeah, go from there. So, uh, I think that's it guys for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.